Just before dawn on the morning of March 6, Santa Ana gives the order, and his men attack with cries of Viva Santa Ana, breaking the morning silence. With that, the Battle of the Alamo had begun. The Texan army, awoken by the advance of the Mexican army, ran to their positions on the walls. The first two waves of attack by the Mexican army were successfully repelled by the Texan artillery. Colonel William Barrett Travis is killed early in the battle on the north wall. He's struck in the head by a musket ball. The first attack falters, but others continue. The Mexican soldiers seize the north wall. Then they flow down the west wall, breaking in doors and windows, and finally seize the southwest corner. Defenders begin to flow back into the long barrack. The battle then shifts to the church. That's the area where Crockett is probably killed. Mexican soldiers capture the low barrack where they find James Bowie sick in his bed. He's killed there. Some of the defenders try to leave the compound, but they're killed out in the open when they're caught by Mexican lancers. The battle lasts 90 minutes. After the fighting, Santa Ana sends officers around the compound looking for women, children, and slaves. Susanna Dickinson, wife of Alamo defender Almiron Dickinson, was one of the women who survived the Battle of the Alamo. She was ordered by General Santa Ana to deliver a message to General Houston. Later on, she said, The Mexican horde came on like a whirlwind. The ill-fated end came, and with it, the horrors of which even Crockett's vivid conception could not have dreamed. The battle for the Alamo was ended, but the battle for Texas had just begun. As word of the fall of the Alamo spread throughout Texas and the United States, it became a rallying cry. Six weeks later, on April 21st, at the Battle of San Jacinto, the Texan army successfully defeated the Mexican army and the Republic of Texas was born. This rallying cry, used by the Texans as they surged into battle, has lived on through generations of Texans and the millions of people who visit San Antonio every year to commemorate the sacrifice and the siege of the Alamo. Remember the Alamo.